Hey everyone, this is Craig with GottaBeMobile.com and I'm going to quickly show you how to authorize a computer on iTunes on your Mac. So iTunes authorization is important because uh, some types of iTunes media has DRM which stands for Digital Rights Management and that essentially just means that when you buy a movie on iTunes or a TV show you can't just freely share it with anyone. Um, you can only use it, uh, uh, you can only associate it with your iTunes account. Uh, and Apple gives you the opportunity to share that media on up to five computers uh, as long as you're logged into your Apple account. And that's where authorization authorization comes in, excuse me. Um, you can authorize up to five computers associated with your uh, iTunes account. So, to authorize a computer, you'll just open iTunes and you can do that uh, in the applications folder uh, right there or if, if you already have it in the dock down here you can go ahead and open it that way. So we're going to open iTunes and once you have it open you're going to go up, I'm going to close that out, you're going to go up to the menu bar at the top left corner of the screen, you're going to click on store and then you're going to click on authorize this computer and then you'll need to enter in your Apple ID credentials and then once you enter in your Apple ID and password you will click authorize and, and we should be good to go and yep, you'll get a pop-up that says computer authorization was successful and it'll tell me how many computers that I currently have authorized. As you can see, I have two computers out of five available. So I'll click OK. And I'm good to go. I can go into the iTunes store, I can download a movie, or I can access my current library right on this computer.